Have you ever wondered how electronic circuits can turn a device on and off automatically after a set time? In today's video, I'm going to build a very interesting timer circuit using a 555 timer IC, and the results are going to be really fascinating, so make sure you watch till the end. Let's begin. The first component we'll use is the 555 timer IC, which is widely used in electronics for timing applications. I'll start by trimming all of its pins to make them neat and manageable for soldering. Now, I'll connect the fourth and eight pins of the IC together by soldering a small piece of wire. This ensures the IC gets a stable reset and proper power supply. Next, I'll connect the second and sixth pins of the IC by soldering a wire between them. This step is crucial because it allows the IC to operate in mono-stable mode, which is the key for making a timer. Now let's add the capacitor. This is a 22 UF electrolytic capacitor. I'll solder its negative pin to pin 1 of the IC, which is the ground pin, and its positive pin to pin 2 of the IC, which is the trigger pin. This capacitor plays an important role. It determines how long the LED will stay on before switching off. Moving forward, I'll solder a 100 ohm resistor to pin 3 of the IC, which is the output pin. This resistor is necessary to limit the current and protect the LED that will connect next. Now comes the LED. I'll solder the positive pin of the red LED to the free side of the resistor and the negative pin of the LED back to pin 1 of the IC. This LED will act as the indicator of our timer circuit. Next, I'll take a 470K ohm resistor and solder it between pins 6 and 8 of the IC. This resistor, combined with the capacitor, defines the delay time of the circuit. By changing the values of the capacitor and resistor, you can increase the on time of the LED. Now it's time to make the power connections. I'll solder the negative wire of a 3.7 volt battery to pin 1 of the IC and the positive wire to pin 8 of the IC. With this, our circuit is powered and ready. Let's test it. When I connect the battery, the LED immediately turns on. After a few seconds, you'll notice the LED automatically turns off, completing the timer function. This simple yet powerful circuit demonstrates how the 555 timer IC can control the timing of electronic devices. You can use this kind of timer circuit in alarm systems, automatic lighting, DIY gadgets, or even in small robotics projects where you need delayed switching. So if you want to control electronics with perfect timing, this 555 timer IC circuit is the best starting point. 